live show floor of Supercompute 2024. I'm pretty excited because we're, you can't see it from this vantage, but we're on the rooftop of the Dell NVIDIA AI truck. They take this thing to 44 cities to tour the AI technologies that Dell and their partners use to actually change the world. We're talking to one of those partners today, Abi Shetty. You're in charge of ecosystem and partnerships over at Solidime. Welcome to 6.5 On The Road. Thank you, Keith, and it's a pleasure to be here. As you said, uh, a great site, uh, amazing companies setting up the whole AI ecosystem, and great to be here on the Dell AI factory, which is essentially a demonstration of AI on wheels to give uh, you know its partners a visual representation of what, what goes on in kind of an AI data center. So I'm glad to be here. So it takes an ecosystem to solve a lot of the challenges that we face when it comes to AI. Yes. Can you talk to me about what you're excited about when it comes to the, not just the industry changes, but the social and, and world changes that AI promises? Oh, AI is revolutionary, right? Um, uh, we've seen, you know, we've done things a, a certain way and we are comfortable doing that over the last decade or two. And AI fundamentally changes those assumptions. Um, uh, talk about a any industry, any vertical, financials, medical, uh, corporate. Um, you, we have to be open uh, to those changes where um, uh, certain assumptions will be pushed to change with AI and automation coming and replacing uh, certain things which are kind of mundane and, uh, you know, uh, things. And in fact, it'll, it'll open up to new creativity as well as new solutions which we've not even thought about, especially in the medical domain as well as in, in the computing domain. Um, we work with partners across the globe and we've, we've seen uh, it's, it's, it's a beginning. That's, uh, from my perspective, um, I feel it's, the ecosystem is kind of, uh, I, I give this example uh, uh, to my wife and my kids on where the AI ecosystem is at currently. Uh, you, can imagine, you can think of them, uh, think the whole ecosystem as more like it's just graduated elementary school. We have a long way to go. You have to go graduate middle school, high school, um, uh, you know, and then go do a professional degree. And that's where the models, uh, the AI models, you, you've been, everyone's aware of uh, um, or knowledgeable of the models. And the more, more data it generates and more data it trains on, uh, it's going to be a more, more intelligent and help, help, help us um, solve world problems with that. So this takes an immense amount of computing power and you're partnering with Dell to help solve some of these challenges. Before we get into the exciting stuff that Solidime goes on, talk to me about the importance of the relationship with this particular ecosystem partner, Dell. Oh, Dell's been a strong partner for us for a long time. And, uh, you know, we are at the Dell AI booth and I'd want to uh, iterate Dell's AI mission, right? Uh, Dell's AI mission is to um, uh, provide the highest performing um, and uh, the least power, um, um, uh, power and the most power efficient AI servers to the market. Um, so uh, from that, and it's absolutely critical. You talked about performance. So the AI um, powered servers are one of the highest performing servers, which require high bandwidth, low latency SSD solutions, which we partner with them on. Uh, and power, power is a very big deal. Um, uh, we'll, we'll have a lot of discussion on power late, later on, but having highly efficient storage solutions, uh, which give Dell AI platform power reduction and power emission reduction opportunities is very critical because uh, you want to feed the GPU, which is your biggest investment. You don't want to keep it inefficient. Uh, you want to keep it maximum utilization. So anytime other components in your system utilize more power, that's less power to the GPU. So having an efficient storage solution with Solidime SSDs um, uh, allows uh, Dell's customers and partners to maximize their AI data center. So Avi, talk to me about what you're excited about when it comes to world changing innovation that AI is going to bring, not just from the industry, but society. Oh, AI is, uh, um, the more AI data centers get built around the world that helps with, um, you know, technical job creation, 
it uh, brings um, infrastructure goodness to the local uh, economy uh, whether it's uh, um, you know fiber optics networks or good solid power grids um, uh, and once you have a data center you have more of the ecosystem follow them uh, to wherever they are which essentially fuels more growth within the local um, uh, ecosystem so you run ecosys ecosystems at Saladon. Talk to me about the importance of the ecosystem. This is not just a problem that a company that creates storage can solve. Yes. Talk to me the, the about the importance of folks like Dell in this solution. An ecosystem is fundamental to any kind of technology uh, evol uh, evolution, right? You need all partners to be on the same uh, kind of cadence in terms of technology releases, compatibility, standards. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a simple example is like, hey, you can't have a team just with, uh, I play soccer a lot, right? You can't just have a team with 11 uh, strikers. You need to have an offense, a midfield, a defense, and a keeper all in sync. And you need to play as a team. And that's the whole essence of being an ecosystem partner, as well as having an ecosystem community of technology companies working together uh, to solving a greater problem. Now, we're in the Dell AI factory, as mentioned in the opening. What is the Dell AI factory? We've heard that term quite a bit if you've followed AI. What, how, did, how would you describe it? Oh, uh, Dell AI Factory is, uh, I believe, this is my second iteration being at the Dell AI Factory. I was there at a previous conference as well. And um, Dell's essentially taking a representation of different solutions and giving uh, uh, their, uh, their customers and the attendees here a visual representation of what goes on um, in an actual AI data center. It's pretty really awesome, right? You, you walk through the different um, stations here at the AI booth uh, and you can get a visual of uh, like what's the power domain, how power at servers play in the ecosystem as well as in the data center and different use cases of our customers can take advantage of Dell's solution um, uh, along with Solidimes here at the, at the booth. So I've seen some of the numbers here. Yeah. The Dell biggest power edge server will hold four and eight GPUs, depending on the configuration. These things take a tremendous amount of power. How is Solidime helping to mitigate some of that issue around power? I've seen some people talking about one megawatt racks. That's, that's, that's insane. Like the average typical data center rack is about only 15 kilowatts. How we're going to heat, cool, and power is a lot of what these folks are talking about. But how are you contributing to solving this heat and power challenge? Absolutely, Keith. I think this is a fundamental question uh, is how the industry solves uh, data center AI power requirements. There's one study which has essentially come out with uh, by 2030, it's expected that data center, because of AI, uh, will consume up to 10% of worldwide power consumption. Um, and that's a lot. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've heard um, all major hyperscalers and CSPs um, talk about uh, their investment uh, into nuclear energy uh, to fuel their sustainable power demands. And look at the show floor here. There are numerous cooling companies uh, talking about, uh, you know, gone are the days of uh, air cooling. Right? Yeah, air so, cooling is not even an option uh, anymore. Uh, like, yeah, HVAC air cooling, who does that anymore? Right. We're now talking uh, liquid cooling where it where the coolant goes over critical hot components, reduces their power. Uh, we're talking immersion cooling, where you put the entire system in a non-conductive liquid to essentially reduce heat and dissipate more power. Um, it, the point being, power is very critical. And uh, Solidime, where we come in, uh, is uh, helping um, our customers have efficient data center storage solutions compared to legacy storage architectures, which are purely based on hard drive. And hard drive can consume in a data center up to 30% of system power. And this is not just solid, I'm saying. Uh, we, uh, we've, our partners, um, are namely um, uh, Meta uh, and, uh, and Stanford, released a white paper where uh, they looked at Meta's AI recognition engine and uh, did a sensitivity of where were the key bottlenecks of power. And it came back with 35% of storage uh, power was consumed, essentially which meant that um, Meta could not re reroute 
that 30% of power to its critical GPU systems, which are more power hungry. Um, and uh, if you just replace a hard drive with a, a solid -ion high density uh, QLC SSDs, you win back 80% of power, which would have otherwise gone to a hard drive, which essentially means now that you can feed back to the GPU, uh, which is your critical investment and maximize GPU utilization. So talking about the relationship of GPU and storage, yep. Solidime has a 61 terabyte drive, I believe, and it's, 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 that's nice. Like yeah. the biggest HDDD that I've seen is about 32 terabytes, yep. but uh, Solidime has a 61 terabyte. I'm, I'm seeing the demand on the show floor for even more dense storage. How is Solidime helping your their customers reach that level of density that they're searching for? Yeah, so we we released the 61 terabyte. We released that uh, um, fall of last year, mm -hmm. maybe Q3 of last year, and we've seen tremendous demand from our customers on that. Uh, and their one ask from us uh, was, "Hey, give me more, uh, right?" And Solidime listened, and uh, we just launched uh, the world's uh, highest density SSD which is double of what 61 is. This is a 122 terabyte heap um, of uh, SSDs um, uh, capacity in a single uh, U.2 unit. Uh, we're talking 122 terabytes. You, you pair eight of those together and you have one petabyte. I'm gonna slip this into my <laughs> jacket pocket and I promise you I'll give it back to you by the end of the sure. interview. So talking about, talk to me about some of that innovation that has occurred with the ecosystem with this new level of density that oh. we're seeing. Yeah, but be before I talk to the ecosystem, let me give you an example of what is in this 122 terabyte, right? It, uh, it's powered by our 192 layer 39 technology, QLC. And compared to the rest of the ecosystem, we are on its. Uh, we are in our fourth generation of QLC. Uh, we were the first ones to introduce QLC to the market back in 2018, and since then, every iteration. And this was on a 64 layer uh, 3D NAND node. And since then, we've introduced 96, 144, 192, and this is our fourth generation QLC. And every generation, we've listened, learned improved, made it more efficient, and that's just making it more, um, you know, uh, high density as well as low latency. Uh, we've added hooks into our NAND. Uh, we are fully vertically integrated, which allows us, which allows us to take advantage of that uh, capability where we make our own NAND, we make our own SOC, which is the controller, uh, which can talk to the NAND and do creative things with it, um, uh, design our own, own hardware. Uh, so as a result, what you and we make our own firmware. So a fully integrated Solidime uh, engineering allows to or reduce all the latency to the lowest. So this is this drive uh, has high bandwidth, low latency, and industry's best uh, leadership capacity. Um, and this allows our customers, many on the show floor here, uh, to demonstrate as well as solve customer problems, whether it's in the data center or at the edge by having high density in a single rack uh, with low, low power consumption. Yeah, I would love to talk about some of the edge use cases, kind of what's possible now that I can get a 122 terabytes just in a single drive out to the edge. Any edge stories that you can think of? Oh, we have many. Let me talk about one where um, uh, uh, one, of our par one of our partners um, uh, is a hospital. Uh, right, and uh, they uh, they had uh, their um, MRI or radio ma uh, radiology machines, which were using a legacy again something which required uh, low latency and high bandwidth because those images are pretty big, and they used to send it to the cloud, uh, which take which took a long time. Uh, so what these guys did was um, have one of the I believe uh, the Dell systems um, uh, lo located on prem. Uh, and paired with not the 122, we just launched right. the 122 last week, but a 60 terabyte uh, high density SSDs. And as a result, they, they, their previous, uh, um, whatever they were trying to do was closer to um, 30 minutes, um, their whole flow, it, it reduced down to three minutes. So that was a big uh, TCO improvement for their use case, uh, where uh, we are seeing companies intelligently kind of define their uh, on-prem plus uh, on-cloud 
um, architecture um, and take advantage of um, uh, uh, GPU cycles as well as density local to where the data is generated. Well, Avi, I really appreciate you stopping by the 6.5 Live on the show floor of the Dell AI factory on the show floor. It's a show floor within a show floor. We have a little uh, of, of turtles all the way down, as we say in the industry. You know what? I'm going to give this back, but I have my backup server that has eight, like six terabyte HDDs. Yeah. And I'm looking at this thing like, wow, I can replace that with a desktop. What innovation that we're seeing here at Supercompute 2024 with Solidime, Dell Technologies, NVIDIA, an entire ecosystem trying to drive technical innovation for AI as we try to solve some of the toughest problems in society. I'm your host, Keith Townsend, and for my guest, Abi, continue to watch 6.5 coverage here at Supercompute 2024. <laughs>